All right, guys, welcome back to the QuickBooks Online 2016 tutorial. This is part two of 24, where we're going to be setting up your company. Uh, my screen is right here, and in this beginning section, it's going to ask us for our name. We'll just leave it Eddie Hood's company because this is a fake setup. Put in your address and your city. Pick your state, of course, your zip code, your phone number. Whoop, zip code's too long. Business phone and the website. Now in the logo, go ahead and click right here in this box and you can select your logo. This is important because it will show up on all of your invoices and all of the documents that you create. It does have to be one megabit or less, so make sure that the file isn't massively large. We're gonna use Batman's logo today. Go ahead and click next. Now it's gonna ask what industry we're in. Well, let's just say we are in retail and we'll just do, we're a bed store, look at that. Okay, uh, what do you sell? We're going to do products. And this is important because it does set up QuickBooks differently. It allows you the ability to track items a little differently. So, so select that. And you do have the option of doing both. So business type, in fact, let's do both just for purposes of this tutorial. Our business type, let's say we are an LLC and we've been in business for one to two years. Now, how do you keep track of your business right now? Just let it know if you're doing it in Excel or desktop or online banking or, or whatever. Uh, let's just say Excel. What matters to your business? Go ahead and select everything that you feel is important. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to be able to send out invoices, track your expenses, be able to work with your accountant. Uh, maybe you want mobile access. You probably do have a point of sale system since you're selling beds. Maybe you've got an online website that does e-commerce. Of course, you're gonna be tracking sales tax and you have, you have employees. You are a busy company. Now it's gonna show you this screen as it's setting everything up. It's telling you how many businesses are in the QuickBooks database that are just like yours. And it's customizing things to fit your needs. Then you come to this screen where you have to click, let's dive in so that you can open up the file. And we've made it to the homepage in QuickBooks Online. This is where we're gonna end this tutorial and we'll jump into part three next.